Uh, welcome to Team Tutorial. I'm Nyalungu FI. Today I will be presenting Industrial Electronics L4. So the chapter that I'll be focusing on today is our transistor amplifiers. So under transistor amplifiers, we are going to look at um, the three configuration in which a transistor can be connected. As we know that we have uh, the common emitter configuration, we have the common base configuration, we also have the common collector configuration. But we are not going to dwell much on the co common collector. We are going to focus more on the common emitter and a little bit on the uh, common base amplifier. But what you have to know in this chapter is that um, it doesn't matter whether it's a common emitter. If you understand the common emitter amplifier, like I'm talking in terms of calculations, like it doesn't matter if you are dealing with a common base, if you understand the uh, common emitter. Because uh, in this chapter, we are going to calculate the gains of an amplifier, the current gain, the voltage gain, the power gain. Uh, uh, as you know that in order to calculate any gain of an amplifier, you need to know the input and output of that amplifier, right? So in terms of uh, the current gain, we need to know the input current and the output current power gain, input power, and the output power, voltage gain, input voltage, and the output voltage, right? So if you are given the output uh, voltage and input voltage, uh, it, it wouldn't matter if you are dealing with a common emitter or a common base, not unless they make the question a little bit difficult, right? They give you the circuit, so now you have to know which one if you are given, uh, you are dealing with a common base amplifier, you have to check which one is your input and which one is your output. But I believe you, you still remember the common base, we have the emitter as the input and then we have the collector as our, as our output. But if it's a common emitter, we have the base as our input and then we have the collector as our output. So those are the things that you, 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 you have to look at. So um, I'm not going to waste time. So I am going to go straight to uh, uh, to what we are here for. So this is in, um, industrial electronics and for. So I am going to maybe try and remind you of what you have done in N3, but we'll be focusing more on what uh, must be done in N4. Right. So we start there. Right. So we have three configuration. So with the three configurations, we said that the first one is the common, the common base, we have the common emitter, we also have the common, the common collector. Right. So this is what you dealt with. And I believe you still remember, um, you were even able in your lower level, N1, N2, maybe N3, you were asked to draw this uh, common base, common editor, and common collector. So what is it that you, you must know uh, if you are dealing with a common base? I have already explained. It is very, very important for you to know which one is your input and which one is your output if you are dealing with a common base. So for common base, for common base, remember we said that we have the emitter. The emitter becomes your input. This is very, very important. And then you have the collector. The collector becomes, becomes your output. Right. For common emitter for common emitter we have the base as the input and then we have the collector as the as the output so these are the things that uh, we have to remind ourselves of this uh, configuration but as I said, that we are not going to uh, perform any calculations on a common collector. Therefore, 
we are not going to talk about it here. So we're going to focus on the common base and the common emitter. So common base, emitter, input, collector, output. Common emitter, base, input, collector, output.